You've probably seen this plant around your house or around your neighborhood, whether you live in a city or a very rural area. This plant is called Japanese knotweed. It's very commonly known as a bamboo type plant and is a very misunderstood plant. It is extremely invasive, has spade shaped leaves that are extremely rough. It's it actually in the rhubarb and buckwheat family and not in the bamboo family, which is grass. This plant spreads by its root system and produces seeds after bloom. These seeds rarely ever germinate, so you're more likely to see the roots um, traveling and spreading up small pink shoots that'll eventually get an inch tall and then turn into a 14 inch plant over 27 days like this indoors in the sunlight and only in water i have just put this in dirt now the only way to kill this plant sadly is a controlled burn after road tilling the soil to expose the roots roundup weed killer in very concentrated doses which can give you cancer so you'll die along with the plants which is not good and other concentrated weed killers or road tilling it up breaking up all the stems putting it in an even area where it was and then taking a big black tarp to cover the area putting rocks or sandbags so just burn it all and provide no sunlight and warmth which will make it germinate and want to come up but when it comes up it'll all die so it's going to kill everything that's probably the best option or you can just keep cutting it down every season hoping that the roots will eventually die off from low nutrient levels again this is not bamboo at all it's japanese knotweed in the family of rhubarb and buckwheat it's not a grass it is edible i don't recommend eating it i personally have not ate it and i'd research way further before even trying to eat the shoots they're not you don't want to eat the very shoots like bamboo which are uh, in dishes a lot at chinese restaurants when they're about from my sources again go research do not eat it from me listening to me but you know once they're about four inches tall you slice them up and again it's rhubarb essentially that grows up to 10 feet tall and again i mean well, that compared to my finger it's a lot i actually have a bigger piece up here wait one sec this is my monster piece giant i know Now, just like the title you're going to see, this is going to devalue your house if you try to sell it unless you take the initiative and kill it at the source. You see it, you kill it. If you try to sell your house, if it is in a pretty even coat across your whole lawn, it can completely devalue your house and no one will buy it. And even if you just have maybe four... 20 square foot patches that can be this japanese knotweed can devalue your house five to fifteen percent that's a lot so i recommend destroying it at the source this is an eyesore i just keep it as a house plant just for the fun of it i love science and you're going to see a lot more videos with science in it and uh once this gets to be a little more stockier, I'll actually just chop the top off it and it'll bush out and I'll chop those so it'll grow in like a ball almost. Um, don't try to sell it. Don't spread it. I'm going to be giving a piece to my friend because he wants it for decoration a dead piece like this. And you'll notice it'll be green. When it dies back, it'll be this brownish color. And then it's going to turn a whitish weathered color. And these are the three stages. Alive, one year old, and then the white stuff, which I have in the other room, but I won't get it. 
is two years old, and then it'll start, of course, eventually it'll die back. Um, if you notice, the fibers are tearing, it's probably over two years old. So again, it is, I'm going to go over the things I just said. Not bamboo. It is in the family of rhubarb and buckwheat. The only way to kill it is a controlled burn after road tilling the soil. Road tilling the soil, chopping it up, and putting a black tarp burn, sunburn method, or a weed killer herbicide, which I do not recommend at all you do. Because um, that can take up to five years to complete. It can devalue your house by 5 to 15% or in extreme cases, completely. So, this was an educational video. If you watch to the end, you're awesome. Please subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell, and comment, and stay posted for more videos, and I will be posting a lot more about these. And, um, if you haven't, go, um, you might see it below. But go watch my video on how to make a healthy energy drink that'll boost your mood.